subsets A and B such that A is both a subset of B and also A has to be an element of B. So that means our set is uh, the set A is going to have to be an element of set B and A itself is going to be a set. So B is going to be a set containing sets. So there's many different solutions to this example. Let's just wrap our mind around uh, maybe not the easiest one, but just like one that's kind of in the middle here. So let A be whatever set you want. Let's just put some numbers in it since numbers are maybe something we're comfortable with. Let A contain a couple of numbers in it. Let's put one and two. Okay, now as A has one and two in it, that means that as we start to create B, we're going to want to make sure that A is a subset of B. So as I come over to B, I need to make sure that everything that I chose to put in A is also in B. So in particular, I put 1 in the set A, so I need to put 1 in the set B. And I put 2 in the set A, so I also must put 2 inside of the set B. So, so far I've satisfied the condition number 1. If you put anything else into set A, you would be required to also put that thing into set B, because that's how you're going to maintain check marks next to number 1. Now, to satisfy condition number two, condition number two says A has to actually be an element of B. So notice that A is the set that contains one, two, and we need to have that be an element of B. So in set B, I'm also going to have to put the set that contains one, two, because that is literally what A is. And that would be enough to complete the problem, because now we've satisfied that a is also an element of B. So I chose the elements in A to go inside of B, and then I chose the last element of B to be the set that contained everything inside of A. Okay, so that's one correct answer. Pause the video. Try to do one on your own. Try to see if you can get one on your own. I'm going to do one more, which is kind of like my default example, but assuming you paused the video, gave it a shot, I'm going to show you what my default example would have been if I was doing this as an assignment. I would let A be my favorite set, the null set, and then I would let B be, so I need to make sure that the null set is a subset of B, but the null set is a subset of every set, so this is going to be satisfied trivially. I'm already done with that. So the only thing that I would actually need to make sure to put in B would be the set A, which is the null set. So this would be kind of the simplest example and would take the least amount of paper.